start welcome back guys now let's discuss about touch receptors now how many types of touch receptors are there there are four types okay there are four types of touch receptors the first type of touch receptors are called as see here the first type of touch receptors are called as meissner's corpuscles second type are called as merkel discs third type they are called as sorry the third type are called as ruffini's corpuscles and fourth type are called as pacinian corpuscles okay so there are four types of touch receptors again i am repeating for you meissner's corpuscles merkel's disc ruffini's endings or ruffini's corpuscles and pacinian corpuscles these are four types of receptors easiest way to remember these corpuscles by using a mnemonic m m r p just like m r p maximum retail price right so remember it like m m r p okay meissner's merkel's ruffini's and pacinian corpuscles now after seeing this you should know which type of touch receptor which type of touch receptor will respond to which type of stimuli all are touch stimuli uh, receptors only they will respond to touch but little difference is there let me write down here touch receptor and responds to response to let's talk about the first first type of touch receptor that is meissner's corpuscles okay meissner corpuscles now this meissner corpuscles they will respond to touch but which type gentle like gentle tapping okay gentle tapping and low frequency vibrations okay these are the two important stimulus for the meissner's corpuscles so meissner's corpuscles on your skin they will respond to a gentle tap okay a gentle tap this sense gentle tap is going to stimulate which receptors meissner's receptors how i used to remember is see here miss is there miss just like a miss a lady so with lady how you will talk you will talk with a low frequency you are not going to shout on her you are going to talk with her in a low frequency okay and with girls you are going to behave in a gentle way so gentle tap low frequency vibrations are going to activate meissner's corpuscles and these meissner corpuscles are mainly present more on lips and fingertips okay lips and fingertips have more concentration of meissner's corpuscles now second type of receptors are merkel cells okay merkel cells now these merkel cells are going to sensitive to sustained pressure something like measuring bp bp measurement okay bp measurement second they are sensitive to edges sensitive to edges and corners okay something like they will be mainly helping in a person who is blind a blind person like you know there will be a script special script called as braille script now to understand braille script one have to the blind person have to touch and understand the pattern of the script okay a blind person is reading the script by touching so which receptors are sensitive for that corners and edges it's the merkel cells so merkel cells they will be activated whenever there is sustained pressure and they are sensitive to edges and corners so that will help in reading braille script release script by blind person okay so two important points they will ask you which type of receptors are important in measuring bp for measurement of bp you need to have merkel cells okay sustained pressure sustained pressure and sorry not bp uh, here a small correction it's a not bp right it's a pulse okay estimation of pulse okay 
so pulse estimation so for estimating the pulse and for reading braille script you need to have merkel cells the third type of receptors are pacinian corpuscles Okay, Pacinian corpuscles. Now, these Pacinian corpuscles, they are capsulated. Okay, capsulated, they are largest. Okay, they are capsulated and they are largest. Please see here, even in the image, see, they are present deep. First of all, they are deep and they are largest and they are having a capsule. Okay, they are largest and they are having a capsule. So, as they are present deep, they will respond to which type of stimulus they will respond to deep touch a gentle tap gentle touch will be responded by Meissner's corpuscles deep touch will stimulate which type of receptors Pacinian receptors and vibrations okay of 60 to 500 hertz okay high frequency vibrations Okay, let me write it down here high frequency so high frequency vibrations will stimulate which receptors they will stimulate pacinian corpuscles pacinian c for capsulated response to deep touch okay and they are the largest and the last type of touch receptor is ruffini's endings ruffini's endings so simple point they are present in joint capsules Okay, and they are going to respond to skin stretch, stretching of the skin. Skin stretching and vibrations. They are, they are responsive to skin stretching and vibrations. Now, see here, I am just showing you one touch receptors. Okay, I am just showing you one receptor which is sensitive to touch just take it any any touch receptor out of the four types of touch receptors Meissner's, Merkel, uh, Merkel cells, Ruffini sendings, Pacinian whatever now touch is coming touch information now we all know from the receptor this information this receptor is converting this mechanical information touch into electrical impulse for that these receptors need to be attached with first order neurons now my point is what is that first order neuron which is attached to this receptor okay what is this first order neuron now we all know this first order neuron will go into the spinal cord okay first order neuron will go into the spinal cord and it will terminate there so the first order neuron in this touch pathway is called as a beta fiber so a beta fibers are the first order neurons carrying the touch information from the receptors okay now after this let's discuss also about a concept called as receptor adaptation okay now what exactly is this adaptation see a decrease in the strength of a sensation during a prolonged stimulus okay a decrease in strength of a stimulation see a decrease in strength of a stimulation during a prolonged stimulus how to understand this let's understand it in a very simple way see when i come and touch you will you feel a sensation or not definitely you will feel a sensation but are you continuously feeling the sensation of touch by your shirt your shirt or your slippers or your boots they are continuously in touch with your skin right my my shirt is in continuous touch with my skin but continuously i am i feeling that uh, my uh, my shirt is touching my skin continuously am i feeling that stimulus no so what will happen if you give continuous stimulation after some times the receptors are adapted they are no longer producing any action potential this is called as receptor adaptation okay if you continuously stimulate them the strength of the action potentials 
will be decreased or i should say in a simple way if you continuously stimulate the receptors are adapted they are no longer producing any action potentials okay now based on this receptor adaptation is of two types okay so receptors are mainly classified into two types receptors which are fast adapting and receptors which are slow adapting so which are, which attach receptors are fast ad adapting fast adapting receptors are also called as phasic receptors and slow adapting receptors are also called as tonic receptors examples of phasic receptors are mesoners mesoners corpuscles and pacinian pacinian corpuscles they are examples of fast adapting receptors they will adapt very very fastly what does i mean by see simple here now whenever you give a stimulus okay you gave a stimulus now action potential is produced but after some time even if you are giving continuous stimulus there is no action potential produced see this this uh, shirt is in my skin it's continuously stimulating the receptors but action potentials are they are they generated no i am not feeling that this touch okay so if you give stimulus action potential is produced after that there is no action potential which is produced even though there is stimulus okay now the examples of slow adapting receptors are merkel cells and ruffinis okay ruffinis endings and even free nerve endings so they are examples of slow adapting or tonic receptors here whenever you give stimulus action potential is produced after some time even though there is stimulus no action potentials are produced but after some time they are again generating the action potentials okay they are generating again so they are slow adapting okay fast adapting means action potential generated after some time even if there is continuous stimulus there is no action potential generated no electrical impulse no stimulation but here in slow adapting receptors stimulus action potential generated following that even if you give stimulus there is no action potential generated for certain amount of time after that if you give stimulus again action potential is generated so these are examples of slow adapting receptors okay let me give you a mnemonic so which like what are the examples okay i am giving giving here the total total receptors mnemonic is miss pacific crown okay just like miss uh, miss india miss universe something like that miss pacific pacific that region miss pacific crown is an mnemonic which is used for fast adapting receptors okay fast adapting receptors so what does i mean by miss for this miss for mesoner scar puzzles okay mesoner scar puzzles p for this pacific p for pacinian scar puzzles and the c for crown crown means which is going to be placed on the uh, head so hair and organs Okay, we haven't discussed about this hair and organs so far. We'll discuss it later. So, mesoner scar puzzles, pacinian scar puzzles, and hair and organs. They are the examples of fast adapting receptors or phasic receptors. Now, with this, we have seen different types of touch receptors. Okay, we have seen different types of touch receptors and the concept of receptor adaptation. Hope this video is helpful. In the next video, we'll discuss. about the pain receptors okay pain receptors are very important theory called as gate control theory thank you